Did I buy this book because the cover is so pretty? Yes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have this little tote bag right here filled with books that I've been buying for the past month. Basically what I'm going to be reading for the next couple of months. Okay, so let's get right into this haul. I'm very excited because I feel like my taste is kind of changing but not really changing. And I'm just really excited to read these books. Okay, I'm going to start off with my most anticipated book. I've waited a year and a half for this book. It is Final Offer by Lauren Asher. Cal is my favorite brother in this entire series. It's three books. This is the final book. And it is super thick. Like, this is really thick. And I cannot wait to dive into this book. I think this is going to be like my first physical book that I read for the year because I've been reading a lot of books on my Kindle. Oh yes, I got a Kindle for Christmas and I'm obsessed. I have been reading so fast. I've been reading all of these like dark romance books on there. I love it. It is so convenient. I highly would recommend it. Next book I got is Lynn Painter, The Do-Over. You know I love Lynn Painter. She wrote my favorite book of the year last year. All of her books are super funny and it's like Taylor Swift related. Like I feel like every female character that she writes about is obsessed with Taylor Swift and I think that's why I love her books so much. I love the bickering and bantering in all her books and this one seems pretty interesting. This is like a very cute valentine's day book should i be saying cute because she kind of got dumped on valentine's day and she's been repeating the same day every single day over and over again of her being dumped on valentine's day intense this book has been on my tbr for maybe about two years now i don't even know if that's how long it's been out but it is marriage for one by ella mays and it finally came in a cartoon cover because the original cover is like of a man and I don't like that. I actually got this from the bookdepository.com which you can get like UK covers on there which I personally think UK covers are super cute. Like way cuter than the US covers. So if you're looking for this cover, go to bookdepository.com. It's about a girl marrying a stranger and they don't really know much about each other so it's marriage convenience okay so it's about this girl her uncle passed away and he leaves a building to her husband she obviously does not have a husband so she's marrying a stranger in order to open her own cafe in this building this sounds so good oh my gosh you know i love my marriage convenience books also, can we just like appreciate this tote bag? It is so stunning and it's like the perfect little bag for spring. I feel like this is going to be my new book shopping bag. And I have like that many books in there. So it's very spacious. This is from Teddy Blake. I picked this one up because it reminds me of spring. And I really wanted a cute little spring bag because... I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of book shopping this spring. Okay, so this is what it looks like without all of the books in there. Just so beautiful. I don't have anything like this, so I really like it. And I feel like I could wear this to work, to go shopping. I just love the color because I don't have anything that's like this. If I need more room, I can just, I can just take the clasp out and I have like more room. Okay, so the next book I have is Funny You Should Ask. Oh, so it's about a girl and she interviewed a celebrity who she is obsessed with and then a decade later, they're reunited. I don't know why I thought this was like childhood best friends to lovers, but please don't be a disappointment. Okay, the next romance book that I have is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carland. This book seems so beautiful. I just am going to give this book a 5 star because it is second chance romance and I believe it is childhood friends to lovers. Okay, so I got like some self-improvement type of books and um, some pretty like realistic kind of books. They've been all over my Pinterest. These next two books are by Brianna Wiest. West. It is The Mountain Is You, which you probably have heard of. 
And the next one is 100 essays that will change the way you think. The Mountain Is You is like a book about self-sabotaging. 2023, we are not self-sabotaging anymore. I really, really want to spend like a month just reading a whole bunch of like self-improvement, self-help, self-care books like these. So maybe I'll dedicate like an entire month and just read a bunch of self-help books because I have a lot from like two years ago that I have not cracked open yet. So these are gonna go onto that pile. Okay, then I got Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton and this is a memoir. So I really, really wanted to read this book because this is about um, just going through life in your early 20s or like mid 20s. I just feel like this is the type of book that everyone posts about that you should read or like books they wish they read when they were in their 20s. And I just thought that I needed to own this because this talks about like friends and relationships and heartbreak and getting older and um, jobs and things like that. And I feel like maybe I need like a little eye opening about all of that stuff. I feel like there's just like so much that you can learn from another person's perspective about certain things that you're not sure about. This is kind of a book about early adulthood and basically what you do when you don't know what you're doing. This seems very interesting and it's different from what I would normally read. So I just had to have it. Okay, the next book that I got, I believe this is a poetry book. I'm not sure, but it is The Strength in Our Scars. It's like a very small book. It's in plastic, so I can't even like see what it is. But, and I kind of don't want to take the plastic out. I think this might be like a very short story or like very long poetry. I'm not sure, but this is like one of those like self-improvement, self-help books that people wish they read earlier in their um, adulthood life. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to read this. Okay, I got myself this book for Christmas. It's called How to Not Always Be Working, and I didn't expect it to be like this booklet. This is so cute, you guys. You can make like little notes in here, which is so cool. Talk about your nighttime routine. Just like things that focus on yourself other than work. If I'm ever feeling extremely overwhelmed, I'll probably like pick this up and jot some things down. But I do journal a lot, but this is so cute. And I could take this with me when I'm going to work. Okay, the last two books I'm going to be talking about are from PR. So the first one is Breaking All the Rules and... This is by Amy Andrews. This seems like a rom-com. The cover is so funny though. I love it. I think it's about a girl that quit or something like that. And then she she's just moving on to start living her life her way. Bea gives exactly zero forks. I love it. I think I'm going to like this book because this is giving very um, carefree type of vibes and i'm here for it okay the last book that i have here is the three lives of alex st pierre this is by natasha lester and this book just screams fashion it is about dior it is about fashion and just like the fashion industry does this girl have three lives because that will be extremely interesting is she like a spy this seems ex oh my god oh my gosh this book is about an orphan turn war war to spy turn fashion icon in paris what dior is like my favorite luxury brand like can we just yes okay so that is all the books that i got in january i am extremely excited mainly i really want to focus on reading and finishing up my series which i talked about so i really want to finish the addicted series and the zodiac academy series i think that's the only two series that i'm currently reading that i haven't finished yet and that i have most of the books for okay so that kind of concludes my little book haul for today that's pretty much what i'm going to be reading for the next couple of months reading i've been reading a lot on my kindle lately so maybe i'll i'll do like a kindle wrap-up video i don't know yet we'll see um most of the books aren't really that great and i kind of want to like stop talking about bad books and stop <laughs> bad talking books because I just feel like it's not right. I do not have a reading goal for this year. We'll see how that goes. And I really hope you like this haul. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.